Welcome back. It is time for our community cuisine. You voted. We cook it today. It's cheese stuffed meatballs. Thank you for voting for meatballs. We've been craving yes. them for two weeks. Yes. I, we really have. I'm trying to put yeah. my gloves on. All right. I'm going to be working with some yes, meat. Yes, you are. What What are you working with over okay, there? Okay, so here's the, what the recipe had called for. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, during these times, it's kind of hard to find meat at the grocery no, store. I've noticed this myself. So I shopped a couple times. And by the way, Kelly, when I was shopping, I wore a mask and gloves. Okay. It's my first time in my, my life I've ever gone shopping. Right. With that. Uh, uh, but Did you see anybody else in there like that? Two people, yes. All right. Two people. So it called for, here's what it calls for. Uh, a half a pound. Oh, a half a pound. Oh! oh! <laughs> You've I've got two whole pounds of beef there. Well, I couldn't find half a pound. I couldn't yeah. find a pound. What was available was almost two pounds. This yeah. is 1.79. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to take half of this, and then it called for a half a pound of ground pork. All right. There was zero pork available yesterday. Oh, Zero. Okay. So I got pork sausage. Well, I think it's ground. That, I mean, I think that will work. And it's flavorful. Yeah, it's flavorful. Yes. That's right. So I'm gonna mix this together in this bowl. Now, Miss Kelly, are while I'm mixing this, are you gonna do a fourth a pound, or are you gonna do a pound? No, what I'm gonna do a half a pound. I'm gonna cut this, and I'll save. We'll freeze the rest. All right. We don't want it to go to waste. Right. Um. Let me see. All right. What, oh, now let's I don't just even... let's just do this because are okay. you stirring with this? Or is this what you're? I stirring do my with? hands. Oh, I'm just gonna cut it for you. Oh, thank you. you. Yes, cut it with we'll that? cut it with that. Okay. Yes. So this is. What do you think? Half. I'm gonna go off of that. So is this two it. pounds? This is 1.79. Oh. Okay. So should I do like this? Yeah. We're eyeballing it. So I'll put that right. Yeah. Okay. Does that look okay? Yeah. Now I'm gonna freeze this. I'm gonna set this back here, and I will freeze that because I don't like anything to go to waste. No, I, I agree. Here. Okay. Can you move here. that? Yeah. I just don't want to just touch okay. anything. Okay. There we go. Then, Kelly, could you be chopping? We're going to add some parsley to this. Yes. Now, it calls for, in this, we just need two tablespoons to start in the meat. Just two tablespoons. Just two to tablespoons. Start. Okay. And then I'm going to add this uh, ground sausage. I think I love sausage. Oh, like it's very good. Sausage. Yeah. yeah, I do too. Okay, so I'm going to put this the, together. And I'm going to put this in with you. Uh, and yes, yeah, so we're going to mix the ground beef, pork, and oh, you know what? Since my hands are dirty, I may have to have you help me. Oh, I can do that. With one. cracking the egg to put in here okay. also, and the breadcrumbs. Okay, sure. Well, all right. Let me just get a little bit more of this because I think we're close. Okay. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. You know, it's flavor. And we'll also chop some later for garnish, they said. Yes, okay, very yeah. good. Perfect. All right. Okay, so, so now, Miss Kelly, it called, do you think one egg is enough? I brought two just in case. Did it, it call for, for one? one egg. All right, well. But I brought two. By the way, Zero eggs at the store yesterday. Are you serious? So these are from my uh, my refrigerator. Oh, they are yes. zero eggs yesterday. Zero uh, eggs. Let's mix that in and see what that looks like yes. first. Yes, and also could you give me one, one cup? cup of uh, breadcrumbs? I sure can. One cup of breadcrumbs. Okay. And I think this is going to be. Oh gosh, I'm losing meat. And again, I am. Mixing it. My mom always mixed it with her hands, and that's why oh, kind yeah. of well, I and do that. Yeah, that's like the way when you're we making meatloaf. I think one egg is enough. Okay, yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. I'll put that back in my fridge. Okay. Because I need eggs. All right. And then what else does it call for? So Seasoning? then we're going to take, we added the two tablespoons of parsley. Oh, we need uh, garlic cloves. Okay, how much? Um, it said to two garlic cloves. So I brought a little thing. You could just yes. put it in what you think. All right. Whatever you think too close is. You know is. what I'm not seeing here? What? Salt and pepper. <gasps> I forgot the salt and pepper. Okay. I'm so sorry. There we go. Let's just do a little bit more just because it's flavorful. Well, it's flavor. Okay. So we added the garlic close and then, oh, guess what we need now? Okay. This is real. I would make a meatloaf out of it. Yes. That looks I'm great. I'm not kidding you. Okay. So we've added eggs. Should I Two tablespoons of parsley. Yes. Yes. All right. And, um, and the Parmesan. So I think we need a fourth of a cup of Parmesan. Okay. And if you look at my black measuring oh, cup back okay. there, yes, the black one, that little lip right in there says a fourth of a cup. So only fill it up to that little rim. Okay. I believe. You're telling me to be specific on the cheese. Is well, that I, what you just said. <laughs> Sorry. I I just want to make sure I heard that right. You did oh, hear it right, yeah. and I'm I'm upset with myself for even yeah saying okay. limit the cheese because yeah. you know more more cheese, more better. In fact, I don't know if that's going to be enough cheese. See? That's what I'm saying. I say add a little bit more. Add a little bit more. There we go. I mean, come on. You bought two, two of these. Because you had to sprinkle on top, oh, too. Oh, okay. And instead of a fourth of a cup, I could have sworn of the Parmesan. A fourth of a cup of Parmesan. Yeah. All right. I'm oh, gonna, yeah, well. I'm going to move this to the back because there's something else I need to cut, isn't there? Oh, yes. So, the reason we had our viewer, and I can't look at my phone right now, but... Um, 
Kaylee, if you could find the viewer, it was on our post of the of the poll, which was the crab cakes yeah. versus um, the meatballs. She had suggested the cheese stuffed meatballs. Can you look and see which viewer said that? I want to give her credit. If you want to scroll through those comments, Kaylee's over there. If you guys have comments, uh, yeah, put a tablespoon in there. It's 26 comments, so it shouldn't take long. <laughs> You'll be scrolling a little bit. Okay. We want to, we want to, those to sizzle, don't we? Yes. Now we've got to start forming these, but I have no place to set the formed balls yet. Oh, okay. So let's just do this. Let's just set it here. Let me okay. turn this plate off a little bit. And, and we'll get the. Oh, you know what, though? Before I form these, we need to cut that cheese. Oh, we do? <laughs> All right. How about this? Why Kaylee, did you find it? Here. Yes. Form them there. But we have to use this in a minute. Well, that's okay. Is it okay? We we'll, can rinse it we'll out. cook it. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Kaylee. Who is it? Tammy Bolio. Oh. Tammy. Okay. The biggest part is getting this cheese open. <laughs> we should have opened this. I, I tried. Okay. Okay. We're going to open the string cheese, and Kelly's going to cut it. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Is that a good size meatball or smaller? Oh, no, that's good. I like I don't it. Know. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay. It's good. It's good.